Welcome to Math Defined. I'm Mrs. C, and today we're learning about ratios. Have you ever compared the number of apples to oranges in a basket? That's a ratio. Ratios are all around us, and they help us compare two quantities. Let's learn how to write and interpret them together. So what exactly is a ratio? A ratio is a way to compare two quantities using division. It tells us how much of one thing there is compared to another. For example, if I have four apples and two oranges, the ratio of apples to oranges is four to two. And this is just one of the three ways we can write a ratio. We can use a colon to separate the two quantities, or we can use a fraction. The fraction bar separates the two quantities. Let's try another example. I have six red markers and three blue markers. What is the ratio of red markers to blue markers? The ratio is six to three. Or maybe you were thinking of the ratio using the colon or even the fraction. Remember, order is very important when writing a ratio. You must write the numbers in the order they were given. In this case, the order is red markers to blue markers. Let's go back and look at the ratio written as the fraction six over three. Both numbers share a common factor, so we can simplify it. Dividing both numbers by three, we get two over one. This means the ratio is for every two red markers, there is one blue marker. Now let's talk about finding and interpreting the value of a ratio. The value of a ratio represents the multiplicative relationship between the two quantities. For example, let's find the ratio of club soda to white grape juice in the fruit punch recipe. From the list we see club soda is four cups and white grape juice is two cups. So the ratio written as a fraction is four over two. The value of the ratio is found by dividing the first quantity by the second quantity. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so the value of this ratio is 2. The value tells us that the amount of club soda is 2 times the amount of white grape juice. The value of the ratio helps us understand how much of one quantity there is in relation to another. Let's compare the amount of mint leaves to chopped watermelon. The ratio written as a fraction is one half over three. We'll find the value of this ratio by dividing one half by three. Remember, to divide this pair of fractions, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of three over one. One half times one third is one six. So the value of the ratio is one six, which means that the amount of mint leaves in the recipe is one-sixth the amount of chopped watermelon. Now it's your turn. Compare the amount of white grape juice to sugar. Pause the video and try it yourself. Now let's solve it together. The ratio written as a fraction is two over three-fourths. Then to find the value of the ratio, we divide two over one by three-fourths. Multiplying by the reciprocal of three-fourths, we get eight-thirds, which simplifies to two and two-thirds. The value of the ratio is two and two-thirds. So the amount of white grape, fruit, white grape juice in the recipe is two and two-thirds times the amount of sugar. One last try. Let's compare lime juice to mint leaves. The ratio written as a fraction is three-fourths over one-half. Don't let this complex fraction scare you. It's just a division problem. Three-fourths divided by one-half. Multiplying by the reciprocal, we get six-fourths, which simplifies to one-and-a-half. The value of the ratio is one-and-a-half. So the amount of lime juice in the recipe is one-and-a-half times the amount of mint leaves. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you out. And until next time, keep math awesome.